Hey guys, so it's time to do a speed test comparison here between the new Galaxy S7 Edge and the iPhone 6S Plus here. Uh, so let's just get to it and do uh, the face off here between these two. Oh, so the iPhone actually still boots up faster here. Nice try, Samsung. But you can see, you know, this is uh, what it is. Even though we do have an octa core processor, I think, in here versus the dual core. Uh, so maybe there's some sort of encryption process or something which does lend to a little bit slower boot up here. Uh, but uh, we can just have a look and see how they compare in terms of the day-to-day -day apps which are obviously more important uh, so we just see you know where everything is closed down and up to date to the latest software definitely the edge here and then clock go similar but I do like the one on the edge much more Oh, look how fast that is. That is very fast. That just blindingly fast. Oh, the iPhone faster for Uber though. So it's not going down without a fight. Quicker here again. So I think the edge is winning here. A little bit faster for Facebook though on the iPhone. Mark Zuckerberg won't like that. Uh, we do have the messaging as well somewhere which I can never find. Quicker here again on the right. But the camera. Maybe the iPhone there. Only just. Uh, so so far, you know, I think the iPhone's not going down without a fight, but then again, I think the Edge Plus is faster on quite a few of them. That was quite similar, maybe. Uh, calculator. Do we have the calculator? Again. So I'm probably going to give it to the Edge Plus here. Uh, but only just, no, not not the massive difference I was expecting, to be honest, uh, when it came to the, you know, app opening. Apple A9 still very potent here. Looking forward to the iPhone 7 uh, processor. We can just have a look how they handle the uh, web browsing. So it's going to be uh, going to Yahoo. both of them so probably best as well just to be uh, fair that I clear the cache here and since I've uh, not I've not actually gone onto any sites on the edge yet so I don't need to do it on there uh, so we'll just go to Google on both of them starting off and then go to Verge and search that so a little bit faster to resolve it here on the iPhone but coming up with it was I think quicker on the right here I'm still on Google I think I'm still on Google actually that's really weird so you can get like a full preview of the web page without going to it but you can see I think the um, S7 was uh, loading the content there a little bit faster maybe but now the iPhone so quite mixed for that one Let's try another one GameSpot go resolved it faster here on the iPhone 
but going into it probably a little bit quicker here on the right both of them nice and smooth going into it again on the right one more the decider GSM arena go so very similar here I think the loading was finished here though on the right quicker and going into it was quicker again on the right so I think the the S7 does just take it there when it comes to the uh, web browsing but very close again you know definitely uh, iPhone still very relevant here no need to go out and rush and upgrade I don't think if you have an iPhone uh, at the moment what about the multitasking this is another area which is important and can Samsung surprise me and actually get it right I've been hearing some bad things about it but so far it's looking really good I mean seriously it's not reloaded yet wow this is nice I mean we do have four gigs of RAM obviously to back this up but seriously I think Samsung's fixed it you know maybe it was a pre-release software or something look at that that is nice this is what it should be like you know this is what I want to see for the Note 6 as well when I've got my pen out and I've got like 20 apps open this is nice this is exactly how it should be you know well done Samsung give them a round of applause so seriously I got so excited there I knocked the microphone off my camcorder honestly I mean seriously this is not what I was expecting I was expecting the same old same old a little bit slow to go into the camera on the uh, the uh, S7 but it doesn't take the shine off it you know look at that this is what I call mature nice Android touch whiz experience so very uh, amazed and uh, very happy here that finally Samsung has figured it out it seems uh, I'll probably do this with some more heavy games like you know I used to do hardcore speed tests before uh, with the Zenfone I might do the same thing here to see just how well it can manage its memory but you know preliminary testing here very nice performance when it comes to the speed of the browsing uh, multitasking seems to be much better uh, and I think the apps was quite well, good as well but the iPhones are no slouch you know the iPhone still very relevant here Apple A9 and we do have the the new uh, iPhone 7 obviously which will probably come with the A10 and you know really push things forward even more but yeah hope you uh, enjoyed this little video and uh, found it helpful and if you did don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one cheers